This is 36-year-old Richard Boris. Richard lives in Greenwich and for three days a week works in complete fabrication model making. Everything about Richard's life is seemingly ordinary, except for one small point. Richard claims to have been abducted by aliens. Footage off from the moon, from the surface of the moon, and you just see this little, it's this little sort of like vehicle of some sort going, blah, 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 blah. it's just Sorry, sort of like no, no. meandering about, casually minding its own business, just sort of uh, have a look over this crater, look at this crater, and then suddenly from this other crater, there's this flash, and this thing shoots out like a missile, and the thing that's casually meandering along goes, oh fuck me, and goes off in the opposite direction. So, Robert, um, You've been friends with Richard for um, over eight years now, I believe. Well, I, I sit next to him. Oh, right. Um, well, I was just uh, wondering whether you actually believe any of uh, the claims Richard's made of his abductions. Um, yeah, I mean, he's, he's got, he says he's got this implant in his neck which aliens put there. But I was, I was talking to my wife um, just the other night and uh, she reckons it's a carbuncle. Oh, uh, right. I mean, maybe it's an alien carbuncle, who knows, but... They may have those. I mean, yeah, so he's, he's obsessed. Do you I, believe I maybe he's a compulsive liar who has uh, psychopathic tendencies? It, yeah, it is, it, is, it is very hard to tell. I think, I think maybe he does need help of some sort. Um, I don't know, you know, he's, he is... It's, I don't know where it's coming from. He chatters to himself, you know. I don't. Th I don't think he's talking to me. He just sort of sits there at his, at his bench. Right. Yeah. Um, right. I think he's, you know, a bit kind of, you know what I mean. You know, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> There's a really good one in this month's Fortune Times. Actually, some guy uh, is taking survey pictures inside a house in a school, and it's supposed to be on an old graveyard and stuff <laughs> like that. But this picture, you know, the little globes, <laughs> hundreds of them. And he's just gone taking a picture of this room and saying, right, this, this doorway's got to be changed and done. And there's loads of these little balls all over the place. And they've got little faces in them. No. So, Michael, you've, uh, you've had to work close to Richard yeah. for, some, for some years mm. now. Um, have you actually ever seen any evidence of his UFO abduction? Yeah. He comes to work on his bike quite often. And right. I've often seen things right. around his head. Like like UFOs? Like, um, what do you call them? The things, fairies. Fairies, not flies. They could be flies. But right. the difference I was always told between a fly and a fairy is that fairies have wings. I mean, there's a pretty strong claims he's making, and mm. uh, surely there would be some real evidence apart from well, people the theories in the early days always said there was no such thing as a world, and then they built ships and they travelled, and they realised they didn't fall off. So, in conclusion, you may well believe him then. <laughs> Not really, no. See ya everybody, see ya! See ya!